Hi, welcome in this tutorial. So today we're going to have to draw this drawing that you see in front of you. So if it's your first time, please, what I'm going to ask you, don't forget to subscribe because yeah, you're going to have to learn about a lot about what you see in front of you, as well as a lot of things that we're going to talk about engineering and stuff like that. So without wasting your time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the dimensions. So you can see this how your drawing looks like and the dimensions are in millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my drawing. And in here, we're gonna go on new. Where is new B? So V. And then we're gonna say metric standard millimeters. So these dimensions are in millimeters, and then we go create. So once we're here, we're gonna have to draw our line for guidance. So that is my line for guidance. Okay. That is my line for guidance. And uh, the next thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say escape. And uh, let's just give dimensions to my line for guidance. Okay, because uh, I saw it was uh, 50 something, I wanted to go bigger and longer, better. So then I'm gonna start with uh, my circle. So there is my circle, okay, my first one, my second one. Then here I come for my third circle and my fourth circle, right? So then I'm gonna give dimensions to my circle. So the first one here, which is the smallest one, that's going to be 25 millimeters, right? And the second one, that's one needs to be 50 millimeters, right? Okay, so then I'm gonna come to my biggest circle. That's one here need to be 100 millimeters as per our drawing or our sketch. And the following one, which is a four circle, that's one they need to be 65 millimeters, right? 65 millimeters. So once I have this one in place, I'm gonna go for my rectangle. So here I'm gonna draw my rectangle. There is my rectangle. Then the next thing that I want, I need to give dimension to my rectangle. So those one here need to be um, 10 millimeters, great. And from there, I put there, that's one over there, need to be five millimeters. Come on, five millimeters, right? So we get it right. So don't worry, it has moved. It's not a big issue. If you want, you can put it back there, right? Drag it back there, which is fine. And I was could have left this day, so, so I don't want to change anything. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for this line here. So this line is gonna move from here up to V, right? And I need to make sure that this line is tangent to this one. So I go on constraint day, and then I choose that one, which is for constraint for tangent. So that one day does need to be tangent to that one, right? At the same time, this one needs to be tangent to that one. Okay, so the next thing that I want to make sure about is the distance between these two centers, all right? So from there up to there, that one day need to be 75 millimeters, right? Sorry, not 75, that's my mistake, my bad. So it needs to be 100 millimeters, 100 millimeters, all right? So that is great, okay? That is really great. Don't worry, it is moved again. You don't have to worry about that. So then I'm going to go for my add a rectangle so this rectangle can come from the up to v right and again i'm gonna do another rectangle so this one here can come inside from the up to the right then i see as per our drawing so from the up to the that need to be 75 that is closed though 75 so what is left there is 1.25 75 Great, did I say 1.25 or 1.55? Great, and then that one needs to be 50 millimeter, unless I'm mistaken. So, yeah, 50 millimeters per hour drawing. And I need to make sure that this extreme, this side here, is 25 millimeter away from the center. Great, okay? that's good with me. And the next thing that I want, I need to make sure about this one here. This one here needs to be 6 millimeter. Come on. Six millimeter. That is the opening. Six millimeter, and again from there up to the center. There, there is my center. This one here needs to be three millimeter. You got three millimeter. So that is fine. Everything is great. Everything is okay. So now I'm gonna go and punch trim. That one here, it's that one there is for removing whatever that I don't need or I don't want. So here I don't need that part. There. I don't need this part over here. Right, and again, I come here. I don't need uh, that spot, I don't need this spot, I don't need that spot, I don't need that one. So, I don't need this, I don't need that one, I don't need that one, I don't need this one, I don't need that one. Right, 
So I come here again. I don't need this one. I don't need that box. I don't need this part either. Right? This one here need to be taken out. I don't need that part there. I don't need this part there. Okay? Again, what else? I don't need this part here. I don't need that part over there. I don't need that. That spot there, I don't need this one, I don't need that one there, I don't need this one either. And I'm left with those two. Okay, so what you can do to avoid complications, so you click on them, you, got, you click on them, and then you delete them, you delete that one, mm, delete that one, uh, delete this one, delete that one, and delete that one as well. So everything is fine now. So what I can do now, I can say finish sketch, or if I want, I don't need to do same sketch. My sketch is finished though. So now I'm gonna go in 3D model. So there is my 3D model, and I'm gonna punch extrude. So in here, I need to give dimension to my stuff. So this one here needs to go, that one, as well as this one, as well as this part here, they need to go 40 millimeter. They need to have a dimension of 40, 40 millimeter, sorry. And those 40 millimeter need to go both sides of my plane. This is the plane, okay? That was my plane, and you can see it's a X, Y, right? Then I go, I say both sides of the plane, so this side as well as the other side. And there we go. I say, okay, right? So once I have those one here, then the next, the next thing that I need is those stuff here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here, and I say sketch, the first sketch, which is the only one. Then I right click, I right click on my mouse, and then I say visibility. Now, this part here is visible. Then I go, I say extrude again. So in here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the part that I want to extrude now. So this one needs to be extruded by 10 millimeters. So 10 millimeters, again, both sides of my drawing plane, XY drawing plane. I'm gonna show you. Come on, I'm gonna show you. You see that part there? You see this part here? This is the part where my drawing plane was. So that's one day went to both sides of my drawing plane. Then I say, okay right so then i need this one yeah let me show you you see this picture i need to have a hole here i need to have a whole thing then i come back here then i'm gonna turn it around i'm gonna turn it around so now i click on the and then i right click i say sketch right then i go there i punch i use the circle there is my circle again i want the circle here as per my drawing to be 16 millimeter so one six millimeter once that one is there what i'm gonna do next i want to make sure that this one here is at the center is it at the center so from there i prove it that one needs to be 15 that needs to be 15 great that is 15 and again i know this at the center but let me make sure about that from there i prove it that need to be what 20 that is 20 great so once that is in place, I go into the model again, I punch extrude again. Then here, I say extrude, I come, I punch the circle that I just added. Then I make sure that I cut my circle, I go there, I say cut, you can see that it's cutting. I say cut, after that, then the next thing that I need, I want this one to go both sides of my drawing plane, which this side here, yeah, just that spot there, not the other one, that spot there. Then what I say, I go there, the next thing, I need to make sure it's cross both of my legs both of them so let's put 200 it does not matter anyway yes it's across both of them right then i say check here check you see that looks great right then i say okay so since i don't want to see this this measurement this size yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sketch you know i right click again i say visibility you can see tick there i say visibility out correct check here you see how beautiful your drawings looks like you see how beautiful your drawing look like now. So now what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna give it a material. So whatever material you want, but I want, I prefer gold. You know, I prefer gold. You choose your own material. So I'm gonna say gold. That is gold. Check now. How great is your drawing? So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. So please, as I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed, just down here at the bottom, even here, gonna be my name there so click there or down here this video is gonna be a button and right saying subscribe just punch the button and punch the notification button locked next to it and if you want to join us please i want you guys to join me so that you can be so that you can be paying some monthly fees according to whichever you want and then it's gonna help us to keep on doing whatever that we're doing as you can see so for now i'm gonna say take care of yourself and 
Bye.